Hi, I'm back with Sort 29. Um, this is Words Their Way Lesson Sort 29 for Greek Root Words. Um, so the, the five different categories that we have for this week um, are geo, which means earth, therm, which means heat, scope, which means sea, meter, which means measure, and ology, which means the study of. So for the geo category, which is earth, we have geography, geothermal, geology, geode, and geometry. For therm, which means heat, we have thermostat, thermos, thermal, and thermometer. For scope, which means C, we have periscope, microscope, stethoscope, telescope, and horoscope. For meter, which means measure, we have perimeter, speedometer, diameter, barometer, millimeter, and kilometer. For ology, which means the study of, we have ecology, zoology, mythology, and etymology. So those are all 24 words. And then the highlighted words in the chart are the words for my triple I group. So if you're doing the 12 words, those are the 12 words that are highlighted. Okay, so for number one, geology. Geology is the study of earth because geo means earth and ology means the study of, so it is the study of earth. The sentence that I have for geology is, the geology of our campsite made it difficult to set up the tent. So meaning the, the formation of the earth was probably like too rocky or maybe it was too hilly in order to put up the tent. Number two, geode. A geode is a rock with crystals or other minerals inside of it. So um, the sentence that I have is, I have a geode that has been cut in half and polished. And so a lot of times you can find geodes inside of like science museums or you can um, buy them usually like in gift shops when you go to science museums. Okay, so number three, um, thermostat. Thermostat is a device used to control air condition temperature. So like the the little thing on the wall that you can press buttons to make the temperature go up or the temperature go down. So the sentence that I have for thermostat is, she turned down the thermostat before going to sleep. So she turned it down, meaning that she made it colder. Number four, thermos. A thermos is a container used for keeping foods or liquids hot or cold. So the sentence that I have for thermos is, he poured some coffee into a thermos before heading to work. Number five, Thermal. Thermal is relating to heat. So, and that can also talk about like clothing. Um, so you want to keep in the body heat when you're wearing something thermal. So um, the sentence that I have for thermal is, she wore a long sleeved thermal vest in the winter. Number six, periscope. A periscope is a vertical tube with a set of mirrors that people inside a submarine can see above the surface of the water. Um, so the sentence I have for periscope is the captain of a submarine raised the periscope to see if there is any danger. Number seven, stethoscope. A stethoscope is a medical instrument used for listening to a person's heart or lungs. So like when you go to the doctor and you see that thing that they have around their neck and then they take it and they put the ear pieces in their ears and then they listen to your heart or their lung or your lungs, um, that is a stethoscope. So the sentence that I have for stethoscope is putting on the stethoscope, she listened to his heartbeat very carefully. Number eight, perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. So the sentence that I have for perimeter is the guards stood firm in their positions around the perimeter of the castle. So it's around the outside of the shape. So it's not going inside the middle of the shape. It's around the outside. So um, I think like a fence, you know, if you think about like when you have a fence and you're going around the distance of a fence, that would be the perimeter of the fence. Number nine, um, speedometer. A speedometer is an instrument on a car's dashboard that shows how fast they're going, so the speed of the car. So the sentence that I have is, the speedometer showed that we were going 60 miles per hour. Number 10, barometer. A barometer is a device used to measure air pressure, so um, to show when the weather is likely to change. Or when the weather is going, yeah, when the weather is going to change, like if it's going to be rainy all of a sudden. So, um, number, so for number 10, the sentence is the atmospheric pressure on each experimental 
day was recorded using a barometer. So they were doing a science experiment and they were measuring the atmospheric pressure with a barometer. Number 11, ecology. Ecology is the relationships between air, the land, the water, the animals, and the plants that live in it. Um, so the sentence that I have for ecology is the oil spill caused great damage to the fragile ecolo ecology of the coastline. So all of those things that lived along the coastline and the water and even on the land of the coastline, they were all affected because they all kind of, we all have like a relationship with one another um, as we live together. So the ecology of that. Number 12, etymology. Etymology is the study of words and their meanings and how those meanings of words have changed throughout history. So the sentence that I have is the vocabulary teacher had a strong interest in etymology. Number 13, geography. Geography is the study of the physical features of earth. So when I talk about physical features, I'm talking about like if it has mountains or if um, maybe part of the land might be flat or um, maybe it's, you know, um, below, you know, at sea level, so that means like it's, you know, a lower type flat area um, of land by the ocean. So, um, so that would be geography. Um, so the sentence that I have for geography is, I made a color-coded map of the United States showing all the various types of landforms for my geography class. So they color-coded the different landforms of the United States and where they were located. Number 14, geothermal. Geothermal relating to or produced by the internal heat of the earth. So as you get down to the core, the center of the earth, it is extremely hot. And so um, it, the sentence that I have is the geothermal energy has been used for thousands of years in some countries for cooking and heating. So like talking about the natural heat coming from underground, the um, energy that can be used for um, heating things. Number 15, geometry. Geometry is the area of mathematics relating to the study of space and the relationships between points and lines and curves and surfaces. Um, so the sentence that I have for geometry is, all the principles of geometry were applied in the construction of the building. Number 16, thermometer. Thermometer is an instrument used to indicate temperature by mercury or alcohol in a tube that expands and contracts with heating and cooling. So the sentence that I have for thermometer is, the thermometer on the porch read 85 degrees. Number 17, telescope. Telescope is an instrument used to make faraway objects appear closer. So the sentence that I have is, he used a telescope to study the distance between stars. Number 18 is horoscope. Horoscope is um, when they, they predict someone's future based on the position of the stars and the planets at the time of a person's birth. So, for example, when I was born, um, I'm considered to be like a Scorpio sign. So that would be like a horoscope sign. So um, there are predictions that they make based off of your, your zodiac sign. So the sentence that I have for horoscope is, my horoscope said that I would be successful in my work this month. So it's like a prediction that's being made. Number 19, millimeter. Millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. So, um, and this is one, this is a repeat word. We've had this one before. So this will be another chance for you to um, learn the spelling again. So the sentence that I have for millimeter is, she measured the surface of her desk with the millimeter side of the ruler. Number 20, 20 is kilometer. Kilometer is a metric unit of measure that is equal to 1,000 meters. So the sentence that I have is, she ran the five kilometer race, or you usually say the 5K, uh, which is equal to 3.1 miles. Number 21, zoology. Zoology is the study of animals and how they live. So the sentence I have for zoology is, I am studying insects and zoology and have learned so many things about butterflies. So again, the study of animals and how they live. 
Number 22, mythology. Mythology is a study of myths, um, a group of stories that usually include gods and goddesses. Um, and, you know, like they're created, they were made up stories um, that people used to believe. And so the sentence that I have for mythology is, in Greek mythology, Zeus was the ruler of gods and men. Number 23, diameter. Diameter is a straight line passing through the center of a circle or sphere. So um, the sentence that I have for diameter is, he dug a hole that was two feet deep and three feet in diameter. Let me fix this right here because it's going to bug me if I don't fix it. Okay, so let me spell it out just like I did the two. Okay, number 24, microscope. This is also another repeat word, um, but this is our last word for this list. Microscope is um, something that magnifies objects that are small to appear larger. So the sentence that I have is, at Gumbo Limbo, we studied various objects from nature under the microscope. Um, microscope can also be used in a form of figurative language as well. So I also included that because it is a repeat word. So um, if it's used as a simile, we, we could say, I feel like I am under a microscope. So you literally would not be under a microscope, but that would basically mean as a figurative language part, you would say, I would feel like everybody's looking at me, right? Like people are looking at me closely and I might, it probably would make you feel uncomfortable. So that's how microscope could be used in a form of figurative language. All right. So those are the, the 24 words that we're going to be learning this week. Um, I would... I'm going to talk to you about when we're going to take this test. I would actually like to take this test on Friday because it is the last day before Thanksgiving break. Um, but I know that it is um, kind of cutting it close to when we're starting this tomorrow. But um, I might give you some options for, and we'll talk about this tomorrow, for um, getting some extra credit ways to boost up your test scores. Okay, so um, that are that is sort 29. These are all 24 words. So go ahead and um, watch the video, learn them. You guys can watch this every day um, so that you can practice these words. All right, see you guys tomorrow.